my friends. Welcome to another Sumi Shays video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade, hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Come on in, throw me a Sumi smile, and all I gotta say is squad goals. Thank you for being here, for clicking in today's video, and for joining me, hopefully wherever you're watching from. You're drinking something delicious, you're sitting in a comfy chair, and you're ready for a shave. You know I am today. We just got barely over 48 hours of stubble, and we're gonna be knocking it down with Doug, Fran, and Hux's brand new set. We've got it on deck today. Casse Perfecto. Almost perfect, right? We've got it in hand and say I'm absolutely thrilled to, being a show, to be able to do a showcase and a spotlight for Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement's brand new product release. This is based on the homage Curve. I love this scent, right? It's a scent that was designed in 1996 and released in 1996 by Liz Claiborne for men, right? It's a scent that really speaks to my heart. I have a lot of experiences that are based around this scent growing up. I love the label. It's got a lot of interesting um, kind of things that they did to kind of combine it together to pull the room together as Doug phrases it, right? I like the scent a lot and I'm really thrilled to have the chance to share it today on channel with you. It's going to be an awesome shave. We're going to be using the Fasson Slant, right? This is the fake light razor. But you brought out by Doug, re-released by Doug, reimagined by Doug. It's a tribute, a homage of the original facade razors that are very, very expensive and hard to get your hands on. This is like a 12 to 13 gram razor, depending on your scale, right? It's very, very light. It's made in plastic. It's an ABS plastic, and it's got this really incredible curve to it, but I, I'm using that because I like the idea of doing a curved razor, right? The slant curved cap with the curved kind of scent, right? I just, I don't know. I like the play, the take on the, on the play on the words there. I'm really excited to be using this. It's a razor I don't pick up all that often, right? Because we have such an collection of razors here. And it's a razor that gives me a really good shave based on that really, really um, overly exaggerated blade curve that really, really um, stabilized lots of um, rigidity on that blade being torqued down that way. And I like the way it shaves on my face today. It was close, super comfortable. Absolutely, you can tell here, no irritation. I just really like the way a, uh, a slant razor works for my stubble type. Not everybody gets that same kind of shave. And I want to call that out, right? Slants tend to be one of those hit or miss things for a lot of people. For me, I have that really coarse stubble that this likes to just go right through like butter, right? Like a hot blade through butter. That's how slants work for me using that guillotine type mechanism, right? I really like the way this shaves. I do clip my blade tabs off. I want to call that out. I showed that in the video today because this is a razor when I have that really exaggerated torque on it. Those blade tabs kind of stick out a really prominent angle and they tend to bite me in the ears, right? As I'm going past my ears, I get careless and I, I poke my ears once in a while. So I do trim those blade tabs off. You can tell the cap is very small, which I really like. It gets in nimble, it gets in tight spots really easily, but it is a very tall cap, right? You can see that from just looking at it this way without anything aside it. It's really, really tall. So it definitely has its own um, profile and experience on the skin. It feels very specific, especially again with those open comb with the teeth, the way that they are, the way that they're pointed downwards, you don't really experience a ton of them on the, on the skin, but when you do get the wrong angle with this razor, it'll let you know with a rake mark. So you'll see that kind of teeth mark across your skin and you know you need to adjust the angle. I like the razor a lot. It's like I said, a light razor. You do apply a little bit of pressure with it. It's a little different than your standard typical safety razor where you're not trying to apply any pressure. This one you almost have to to allow it to keep to the skin, right? And not kind of like fly, fly off. But it's a really smooth shaving, very easy going razor that's affordable. And I like calling this out because a lot of Doug's products are not only really good and they're high performance, but they are good quality for the price. And I really like that about Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. They offer a lot of um, different products, a lot of variety for a lot of different, a, lot, a really good affordable price that's a, accommodating for many um, price points. And for me, when I was coming into the craft, very first starting, it allowed me to kind of sample a lot of different things and figure out what I liked. I really like that. Doug, Fran, and Hux, massive shout out, huge thanks again for not only designing awesome stuff, but re-bringing things out that have been forgotten or, you know, time has kind of misplaced and, and re-allowing some of the best to experience it for a price that's, uh, you know, not extreme because it's, it's so rare. Thanks again. Massive shout out. Again, I did purchase this razor and I still use it to this day. I love this. It's like three or four years old for anybody out there wondering. I bought it right when it released. Maybe it's two years. I, I've lost track of time. Like my, my, me, myself, right? Lost track of time. But I, all I can say is I did buy it the day it released, right? And it's still going awesome. It still looks brand new. Awesome, awesome razor. Again, ABS plastic, but if you treat it well, it will hold up and it does seem to like to um, work continually. So great razor. Let's talk about the scent today. I'm absolutely thrilled. Again, curve for men. It's one of those scents, once you've smelled it, you know it. It's It's got a really specific scent to it. It kind of reminds me, and I hate saying this because I'm not doing a comparison here, but I, when I, when I Creed Aventus, right? It's one of those extremely popular scents. When I smell it, you know you're at a club. It's because, you know, as you get older, your tastes kind of get refined. 
mind and you're like, oh, I really enjoy this. It's almost like as kids, it's, it's, always, it's such a popular set. It's like going in like, oh, there's Kerp, right? We all knew what it was. All the guys knew what it was and it was extremely strong, right? When you open this up, that's one thing Doug calls out is that he brought the scent back to its original like profile because it lost some of that with the reformulation. They kind of like dialed it down. When I was younger, I kid you not, I don't want to sound like an old guy. I, I'm not that old, but like when I was younger, right? I remember you, you could buy the bottle for like 25 bucks. You'd spread on a hoodie like one day and let the hoodie air out. And like, that's the thing is you never wanted to wear that hoodie. At least I did. It was like too strong. I'd sit it out. I'd leave it out. And then the next day, that hoodie smelled perfect, right? And the hoodie smelled so good. And it was one of those things you could pass around, right? You, you go to a school with a hoodie. You'd never come back home with that same hoodie. It was gone for at least a day. And then you'd come back for, with a different hoodie that somebody else would give you back. And then you'd respray it again with Curve. And it kind of went through this cycle. I had like three hoodies on rotation that were kind of borrowed. I'll call it borrowed, right? <laughs> I know my wife coming up and be like, what happened to the hoodies? Why were the hoodies disappearing? But it kind of got, you know, it got commandeered because they smelled so good. It's a really nice, enjoyable scent. It's a younger scent. Um, I know that Doug mentioned if you were a fan of Fresco or of Old Spice Fresh that you may really like this. It's a, a, a really cool, like the, the profile for it is, is something you wouldn't really expect. It's a lot of different notes. You have green leaf, you have lavender, you have fur, there's a, a veveter, a veveter, you have a mahogany, amber. There's a lot of different notes in this that really truly harmonize to create what um, Curve is. Um, it's a beautiful, very, very, for me, it's like kind of sporty. It reminds me of, like I said, being younger. I had a buddy uh, that when I grew up with that his car never not smelled like that, right? So when I first opened this up, I said, holy cow, that's like a flashback to getting into my really good friend's car. The splash for this, I it just takes takes me back. It reminds me of being in class, sitting at a little, like a, like one of those little um, chair, the little um, study desks and having to do like homework. I, it, it really takes me back. Takes me back to some of my younger days when again, they were like, it's like $20. You know, that little bottle would last forever and like two spritzes and you like those clothes were good for like a week. Awesome stuff. And it's really cool to read, get an experience curve. Now the scent, but the name behind it and the, the label behind it, right? Um, is kind of like, a, it's like a, tr it's a bunch of a collection of ideas that Doug has created, right? Uh, 96 for, it was when it was released. It's like almost a perfect number based on like math, right? By a mathematician's perspective of what a perfect number is. I can have that information going. I'll also have it going right here next to me based on the website. I also want to call out that the actual label here was around the name like curveball, right? So like like baseball, right? Like, like you have a curveball, you have baseball, you have the perfect number of 99.6. That's kind of where all this kind of came together. Overall though, if you're a fan of like a Fresco or of Old Spice Fresh or just of curve itself. It's an awesome set to pick up and I'm honestly really glad that um, I got the chance to re-experience it as like a an older individual that's now uh, kind of sampled more scents because it's still a scent that speaks to my heart. I don't know if it's just a, a thing of the past, right? It takes me back. It's like your nose is the perfect time machine but it really does kind of uh, draw my nose back to some of those awesome memories that I'm really fond of. The lather today you can see is thick. It is slick. It is very shiny. It's very typical for Doug soaps to look like this. I mean, this is what you expect with CK6. It's it's very rich, it is very drippy, and my favorite part about it is really slick. You can just see how it paints on here. It goes on no problems. It goes on a little thick and it really produces a lot of protection. Now, CK6 for me is one of those soaps that a little goes a long way and I did overindulge today. I have way too much soap in there. You can see I, th this is a big bowl. The scuttle here is the Dreamscape Scuttle from Doug and it's massive and I, I overindulge. I have a, a ton of soap. I'm definitely, definitely going to be doing the latherous um, kind of concept where you re-lather the same brush because I've got so much soap today and I just really like that scent. It's one I, I would I could use a couple days in a row and I would never get tired of because that brings back such good memories, right? I think if I smelled Creed Aventus in five years, if I didn't ever wear it again, I'd have the same thing now. I'd be like, oh, I remember doing this and this and this with my wife because that's kind of where I'm in life. Whereas this, I go back and I'm like, hmm, I remember walking through the halls of high school. It's kind of weird. I like that a lot. Thank you again, Doug, for re-releasing scents like this, even though they're not truly gone, right? The curve is not actually like been discontinued. It's a scent that's still here. But for me, like it's, it's not the same, right? They definitely re, uh, like reformulated it. It's not as strong. It definitely has the same punch. I smelled it just recently at a, dep um, like a, a department store and it was just not the same kind of, it didn't take me back where this kind of does. I really like that. Again, huge shout out and a massive thanks. Let's start some shaving here. Again, we've got just over 48 hours of um, growth and we're going to be doing this again with the fake light razor. Uh, and I forgot to call this out, but I did my lather today with the um, Cyclotro brush from Doug. 
I just like the idea of using the clear razor with the clear handled brush because I just thought it all worked together for the photos. And I've really been trying to amp up my photo game for anybody out there that hasn't um, and wants to. I would really appreciate if everybody would check out my Instagram. I've been really um, trying to amp up the photo, the photo photography while I'm doing the shaves, right? Because I want our thumbnails to look good. I want everything a part of our video to be different and, and kind of upscale, right? That's my goal is to make everything we do here the best I can produce. Because if you're spending your time with me and sharing your time with me every single day, I know it's valuable and I know time is something we don't get back. And I want you to really enjoy and, and, and kind of get the same experience, that I, the best experience that I can give you, right? That's my goal. That's every single time I do a video. And I, this has been my goal the whole time is to give you the best quality content I can. And I've really, really been trying to amp up even just the basic um, stills, some of the basic shots with um, kind of learning some different techniques with photography. And I thought that the razor really played well with the um, that new handle that Doug released, the Cyclotrode clear handle. I thought it all just kind of went together really nicely. The razor itself, it's an easy shaver. It is a very smooth shaver. And it's a razor that on my face, I have to do one, one single pass where I kind of have to refigure it out every single time. It takes a little bit of pressure. And as a shaver, right, it's not something I'm really accustomed to. It's not something I'm used to doing. It's just, it doesn't come naturally to me anymore to press, right, to really put down some pressure. This is one, as soon as I put down a little pressure, you can see it wants to not go down all the way to the skin until you apply a little bit of pressure. And then it goes really nicely, very smoothly and very quickly. It's a razor I can find the angle with no problems. And I have no problems just kind of flying around my head like this. I mean, it's easy, it's light, it's nimble, it really shaves very close very effectively and very smooth <laughs> let me chuck the lather here look at it coming off the um the head of the razor i love the way that this flows that open comb design just flows so well even with 48 hours of growth it just goes right down and i it, 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 you can even have kind of like a little bit denser lather and it's going to flow really really nicely great shaver i really like this razor I, it's just so funny to me this say is just like i keep smelling it it's like oh yeah i remember doing that and that and that i can't say that on camera <laughs> it was never for dark <laughs> we didn't have videos back then thank goodness <laughs> but this scent is so much fun it does remind me of being younger i i don't think the scent is nostalgic i don't want to call that word out because i don't want to feel old i, I know that doug mentioned that he's like it's not a timeless it's not a timeless classic yet <laughs> it can't be a timeless we're not old enough for it to be a timeless but for me it does definitely bring back some of those um really good fond memories it's a, a scent that like i said i could get really cheap back in the day it's kind of funny because one i think even the splash um, combo set, right? I could probably get a month's worth of, of at least a month's worth of curve, maybe two or three months worth of curve for the price of a splash and soap today. The, the prices for things have really gone crazy, but the actual quality of the Doug stuff it brings back just how good it was, right? How good curve used to be. Oh, that is so much fun fun. You have to let me know in the comments, please, if you're a person that um, is around my age or even, you know, experience the, the the fabulous experience of what Curve was, right? Or maybe you're still using it, right? Maybe you're one of these people out there that, you know, you, you fell in love with the scent and even though they dialed it down, you're you're still using it. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your guys' experience, your thoughts on the scent of Curve, right? By Miss Claiborne. I, it's funny. I, I really feel like it's one of those ones that was so infinitely popular and one of those ones that just kind of took off in like the er, the late 90s, the early thousands, right? The early, I want to say early thousands is when I just, you couldn't walk around um, without smelling it somewhere, right? The department stores all carried it. You could get it at like, you know, your basic Target, Walmart, everywhere carried it. And it was just a scent that was, this, it, it, like I said, infinitely popular, really fun. I think that the um, kind of the, the take on the actual label here was a really interesting one. 1996 being a perfect number, I, I, I can't speak to that too much. I'm not a mathematician, and I'm not a person that found a love behind the philosophy in math, right? I just like what math does, I, and you can't have that kind of principle without the, you know, the the back, the, the, the mathematicians, right? The mathematicians and the philosophy of math, but the perfect number portion, I, I kind of chuckled that because I'm like, oh, that's definitely above my above my pay grade, but as far as the, just being able to enjoy a scent that's really well done, and I feel like it was different, right? I feel like a lot of the scents 
the time when I was trying on like Axe body spray. All these different scents were coming out. It was kind of interesting. It was like I was coming into the scent of fragrances. It was the time of my life, right? And as I was kind of experiencing things, it was a scent that I could like and it was different enough, sporty enough. It smelled kind of designer, but I could afford. And that was the whole thing is like I could afford it. It didn't break my budget every single time I bought it, but it gave me enough like umph and confidence when I wore it. And I think that's something about fragrances that not a lot of people talk about. It's the, the confidence that you can get by wearing something that, you know, makes you feel good, makes you feel uh, successful. It can make you feel sophisticated, popular. It can make you, uh, however that scent makes you feel, right? And I like that about Curve, the scent. It just kind of gave me this boost to my confidence. I like the smell a lot. I still like it, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. I still really like that scent. A lot of the times we see these re-releases of like scents from the 30s and the 40s, and they're awesome. They smell really unique and very interesting, but I don't have a personal experience with it. Whereas this, I have like, like fond memories. I have fond memories of this. I have memories of going to like wood shop class, right? And making things in wood shop. And I have memories of like study halls where I would get my hoodie up by my nose. It's just like, it takes me back. And I love this. I just think it's really cool that Doug does this. And I think it's an amazing thing for anybody out there that wants to like, have a splash and a soap that matches their daily EDT or EDP, right? I think that's also really cool. Oh, it smells so good. It's really nice to be close again. My my head was like that 48 hours. That's when I was getting, you get the Velcro fill. I hate that Velcro fill. It's nice to get back to the smooth. It's nice to get back to the close. And I appreciate each and every one of you for being here for it. If you haven't, please go below, smash the sub button. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. This was a fantastic shave and it wouldn't be possible without all of you here, right? Without you guys here, it's just videos. It's nothing special and you guys make it special. So thank you for doing that for me and for, you know, just kind of sharing the shave. I I love doing it here. I love getting this fill and I love getting to experience this all over again. Oh, curve for men. Beautiful set. Huge shout out to Doug, Matt, um, Fran and Hux for making us a priority and allowing us to do the review. I know that's not something that, you know, I, t I take very lightly and I put a lot of effort and a lot of thought into this. And this is a set that, I, that when, I, when I saw it come out, I was really excited about. I hope everybody else is having a wonderful week and is enjoying their shaves as much as I am. If you're not, we got to change something up because they can be absolutely flawless and beautiful and to the bone close. Like it, it's glass. Awesome shave and a huge shout again to Doug, Fran and Hux over at Phoenix Artisan and Kuchwan. Appreciate all of you being here. Until I see y'all again for another perfect shift, I'm going to get out and enjoy this one. Suit out!